they're like, oh, he, human on the ground. <laughs> All right. oh, oh, something scared him. Okay, wild things. <sighs> Good morning. Oh, I think I'm having a Mr. Rogers moment again. Good morning, children, and welcome. To begin, we'll take our clothes off. Um, <laughs> Which, as that happened last time, I realized that's kind of weird that that was Mr. Rogers saying, like, hey, kids, I'm going to undress and dress now. <laughs> but yay for Mr. Rogers, no matter what weird things he did. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, it's uh, suddenly hot out here. It's still summer here in the Bay Area autumn, although we can feel that autumn coming on. All the fading things and the harvest. And now we're in this waning moon, dark moon today, tomorrow, new moon early Wednesday. And so we are going to focus a bit on the unseen today, the back body, the spine. We know it's there, but how often do we actually see our own back? Very rarely, huh? So anyways, let's give attention to that unseen, to the subconscious, to the breath, to that which holds us and supports us that is maybe not always so evident or remembered. Take any movements you need to to be at ease in your seat. And then as you're able to, maybe lift your hips up and just find yourself a comfortable seat so that you're okay to pause for a bit here. And we're going to do a little five-layered check-in. This will be relatively in alignment with the koshas. So in case you're a yoga geek like me, among other things, um, then here's that. We'll begin with manamaya kosha. Uh, so often when we come to the mat, so I'm not going in sequential layers of the ways that these are listed or diagrammed, um, but for me, the way that I think we kind of experience things. When we first come to the mat, we're usually still thinking, still buzzing, feeling our emotional body. And so the squeaky wheel gets the attention, right? Um, so first, pause, notice. What is present mentally? What thoughts, words, emotions, feelings? what's present in the layer of the Manamaya Kosha. And greet all these things, if you will, without judgment or story. Good morning, excitement. Good morning, sadness. Greetings, impatience. Hello, confusion, whatever it might be. Greet it with wonder, with curiosity, with unconditional loving awareness. And of course, all of these layers or sheaths are enmeshed, interconnected, flow from one into the other with no apparent clear division. So just noticing the mind and emotions and how and where they're living in your body, how mind and emotions are currently affecting the body. How's your body right now? Check in with the body. Just take a little body scan through your joints, your spine. All the parts, your face. your hands, your feet, 
your head. What parts of the body are speaking to you right now? What wants attention today? What wants to be known? body is known as the Anamaya Kosha. Let's move into sensing and discernment, Vignananaya Kosha. So emotions may be involved here and possibly even thoughts or constructs of mind. Ultimately, the essence of this layer is our sensing, our intuition, our knowing beyond words. So you might still notice how thoughts or emotions are affecting this sensing, this discernment of how we are, what's right for us, what the next step is. Vignanamaya Kosha. This is the the wisdom layer. Kitana Mudra, first finger and thumb connected. Sense your knowing self, the layer of sensing, choosing that little impulse that pulls you forward or repels you away. How's this layer of being today? It's a more subtle layer. It might kind of blink in and out with effects of the other layer. We'll expand out a little more into the most subtle layer here, the Ananda Maya Kosha, Purusha, the soul, the pure awareness. This layer of our being that is pure consciousness, pure awareness connected to everything. The I that is everything, everyone, all sound, perception, all causes of the sounds. Expanding out. You're able to have present awareness with yourself in this expansive level of Ananda Maya Kosha, the bliss body, yourself beyond constructs of mind beyond limits of belief. Let's feel the breath now. The breath moving through all these layers of being, the pranamaya kosha, that life force coming in from the everything to your center, moving back out through all of your layers of being, breath affecting your thoughts, your feels, your emotions, your physical form, your sensing, your knowing, remembering that breath coming back in from the everything to this perceived individual self, back into your center, breath, prana, life force permeating everything and moving back out through the everything that you know of yourself into the great expansive mystery of the self. Follow the breath, notice 
the qualities of the breath. How is your breath right now? Where is it easily going? Is there anywhere that you could guide the breath a little more? Any areas of the body mind that are distracting or contracted? Drawing your awareness, bring the breath right there. If you have a mantra that you're working with, an intentional, affirmative, present tense mantra, remembrance of your I am, from all the possible I am choosing any bhav or energy or heart quality that lights you up inside, any point of focus to direct your energy to that lights you up inside, or just that great I am, the remembering so hum. I am. Breathe and repeat your mantra, your yes. Imagine, if you will, this permeating all the layers of your being. Imagine your heart so lit up with this yes, I am, that it easily overflows from you. Through your body mind, out into the world, down into the earth, out into the sky, flowing along clear lines of energy from your heart to all the beings that you connect with, seen and unseen and clear lines of energy beneficence flowing back to your heart from all directions, sages, saints, siddhis, yoginis, and wisdom masters from all space and time flowing beneficence and blessings to you. If you will receive these, open yourself to receive these, remember yourself vast, expansive, connected in this great web of life. Touch the earth, if you will, ground down, root into the earth. Imagine into all that has brought you here, all that have brought these practices to us, and your body is part of the earth, present, here, now, ready for whatever is coming your way in this practice, in this life. 